Did you know that the younger president speeches is okay? The person who writes that speeches, the president should be fired with immediate effect. Because the president here in Kenya said for the foundation, he blamed on the Ford Foundation on the protests. Sahi to Memuona Meka Vizuri Sana Uko New York, na president wa Ford Foundation. Sasa niambie, ata kama unataka kumuamini rais, unaweza muamini. Kiwe. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Gashi's Kamanti TV, the tourist man Black Africa. Even before the bed gets warm, the marriage between Raya Morodiga and William Samuel Ruto is facing strong headwinds. There are some mamas, there are some jitters, there are some dissatisfactions emerging from the two camps. If you are joining this channel for the first time, please like this video at this juncture. And for our subscribers, leave a comment. Let me start by asking you a question. Do you think the marriage between Raya Amor Odiga, the so-called broad-based government, is going to survive in the fullness of time? What do you think will happen? Do you think they shall go all the way to 2027? So, the reason why the marriage is facing headwinds is because of the following. Number one, because of the Hasselas funds. Oparanya is saying very clearly, that he cannot be able to trace 13 billion Hasselas funds. And he's raising witty questions. On the other hand, UDA are not uh, happy with this uh, question, with this expose. Because according to Oparanya, this money aided in some people's pocket. And this is not something that is pleasing to the ears of UDA. Because we know that uh, UDA is a government of deal. They are deal makers. They are there to make money. So this as well as funds was meant to be given to those guys who had campaigned so hard in William Samuel Ruto's government. And a chunk of the money added in these uh, pockets. So this is one area that uh, they are differing. And Oscar Sudi is mad with the Oparanya. He's saying that we, we cannot allow uh, this kind of uh, things that uh, you came and then when you came you started telling us how we are going to behave in our home so this is something that is creating friction number two in my view is because of the adani deal the adani deal is a monster it was something that was meant to benefit william samuel and his close allies this is something that odm is also questioning the fact that a uh, sifuna was able, and Akina Onyoka, they were able to expose the deal. And the fact that the deal, a done deal, was stopped by Parliament, the fact that um, Parliament uh, authorized or instructed the Auditor General to carry what we call forensic audit is something that hurt the UDA Madarins. It is something that actually rattled them. It is something that uh, made them that um, feel that uh, UDA is being cornered by the partner and when your partner start cornering you then you feel uh, all kind of discomfort and this is what is happening the other thing is because of the broad based government there are some odm members who have not embraced this kind of mongrel the kind of government that was formed by william samuel ruto and uh raya morodiga the so-called broad-based government did not involve all the members of ODM. There are those who refused to play balls. There are those Akinam Babo, you know, for example, uh, Sifuna, and there are so many people who refused to follow instructions of Raila Morodig. On the other hand, there are others who are forcing ODM members to support the broad-based government. Like now, the party leader, uh, Anyangno. Anyangno is saying that if you're in ODM, you must support uh, William Samuel Ruto's government. You must support William Samuel Ruto's uh, ideas. And there are those who feel that um, they don't want to wrestle uh, with the pigs. So the, what they are doing is the The other thing is uh, when you look at um, what is happening, you, you, you realize that um, they are not getting what they expected. ODM is not getting what, what they expected. They thought that most of the development would be taken there. In fact, 
contrary to what they thought, they realized that um, it is William Samorto who is controlling everything. They realized that uh, they don't have a free heart. And remember, Oparanya had said that um, if you not be allowed to uh, do what he thinks should be done, if you not be allowed even to advise William Samorto, he is going to bolt out because you cannot force somebody to take the advice if he doesn't want. So this is what is happening. They have realized that um, William Samorto is one person who will not just take advice. So just one person who will not listen to anybody. So this is something that is creating a, a lot of antagonism. The other issue that is creating friction between ODM and UDA is the impeachment of Rikadika Shagwa. There are those in ODM who strongly believe that this is a UDA affair and they should not be involved in this kind of shenanigans. There are those who are refusing to sign. So far, I understand 113 members of parliament have signed the impeachment motion to be taken to parliament so that Kachagua would be impeached. Out of this, just a small clique of ODM who have signed or who are in support of the impeachment of Rikadi Kachagua. And because William Samoruto want Rikadi Kachagua to be impeached, and he thought that ODM would support all his policies, would support everything, would make way for impeaching Rikadi Kachagua. In fact, one of the objectives of the broad-based government, and not many, was to impeach Kachagua and place him with Kidiki or Waiguru or Gladys Waga or whoever was placing it to the the eyes of William Samoruto. But what he discovered is that most of these ODM guys are not pushover because they are playing to, they are, they are refusing to sign. And some of them are saying openly that they are not going to support the impeachment of Rikadi Shagwa. What they are saying is not something that William Samoruto would like to hear. It is something that is actually agitating Akineshumwa. So this is something that um, is actually uh, happening. The other reason uh, that uh, is making this marriage to face headwinds is because of power struggle. There is serious power struggle in the broad-based government. Because when you look at Raya Amor Odiga, Raya Amor Odiga is going all over wherever William Samoruto is going. All over. He is everywhere. Including Germany, including Canada, including wherever uh, he is going. And once he joins him, he goes there and he is seen chairing a very crucial meetings. Some of them involving other governments. And many people are asking, where, what, what role is Raja playing in William Samoruto's government? He's not elected. He's not a cabinet secretary. Who is he? That's a question that UDA members are asking. And because most of them are being overshadowed, because William Samoruto is listening very keenly, uh, and I understand he's re listening very, very keenly to Raya Amor Odega, hoping that in 2027 they'll be together. So it is this idea of power, friction, power struggle between now ODM and UDA that is causing this Swede to face headwind. There's also the issue of 2027 general elections. William Samoru to want ODM and UDA to merge. You want a merger, like the one that happened between uh, NDP, National Development Party of Raya Morodiga in Kano. But there are those in ODM who feel that they cannot buy that idea. There are those people who feel that um, William Samoruto is misusing them. There are those who feel that William Samoruto cannot win any elections. So even the bait of Gladys Waga as the running mate is not pleasing to them. And we can only wait for things to continue facing headwinds. I don't know what you think. But what, from where I sit, this marriage is headed to the dog. Have a blessed day. Adios.